Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. My name is Mitchell Morgan and today we are doing another of the world circuits. We are in the Americas and we're heading off to Daytona for the last of our races. This is the four Chili Pepper GT Cup GR3. We will need to change our car and I'm going to go for, I know the Super is in there in this race, but I'm, I'm going to go for the Ford, I think. My car settings, I've got, uh, I'm going to go for racing medium tyres on this one. Uh, for the detailed settings, I can take these up a little bit now. So the output adjustment, I'll take up to 100. And the power restrictor, I'll take that up to 100. That puts us ever so slightly over. Take the ballast up slightly. One more, oh, one more. Okay, so 729.99. So the output adjustment is 100, 193 for the ballast, 100 for the power restrictor, and otherwise everything is all pretty much standard for this particular car. Racing mediums, hopefully they will get us through to lap five. So let's go for it, see how we do. This is the GT Cup GR3. Daytona road course 10 laps let's see how we can do okay I'm going to go for fuel map level 3 and we're going to try and get to the end of lap 5 on this one and I do want to try and get the radar on as soon as we can because we are going to be picking our way through this traffic Should probably chosen second gear through there. Never mind. Just following the super through there. Just need the radar on just to see where people are for the moment. The more cars that we can pick off at this point, the better. Can I get on the back of the Hurricane for the uh, run around the back straight? Well, it's not quite a straight, but around the curved, uh, uh, the banking area. Just want to pick up a slipstream here. Let's just overtake him. We are quicker. See if we can get a slipstream on the Corvette now. going to break just before the the number two down into third gear over the yellow bits of these curbs just following the Corvette through it's a state of play on the old fuel four and a half laps remaining Go underneath the Corvette Picking up a slipstream as well on these cars. This is good. This is good. Going to need to get it slowed down here, though. We're going into this corner really quick with the slipstream. Down into second gear. Oh, got tagged up from behind. I think I probably cut across of the Corvette there. I think that was fair. I would have hoped that the Corvette would have allowed for that, but uh, alas, that wasn't the case. That just dropped me back down into fourth. Just a reminder that these overtakes need to be really, really clean. And when you go offline and you're taking a slightly different line in, the AI doesn't particularly like it. I think it's expecting you to be in certain places, and if you're not there, it squeaks. Normally through a bumper rub. Okay, see if we can get on the back of this Corvette now. Got it all to do again. So if we can close up into the bus stop, or not quite bus stop, but whatever you want to call this bit. So I'm going to brake just before the two. 
down into third gear, over that bit of kerb, over that bit of kerb, I've gone a bit deep. Just grab second gear for a little bit of rotation through there. I really wanted to be cleaner through there and get on the back of the cars in front. Didn't quite come off. But the Corvette really is on the back of the uh, BMW right now. Closing up really quickly. Going to need to be careful on braking into this corner this time. I'm actually going to slow down earlier. Just give them both a little bit of room. Oh, it's Aston Martin. I think I called it out to BMW. Couldn't really tell from that far back. Oh, just gone a little bit deep into that corner. Tangled with the Corvette. That lets the Aston Martin through. Let's just see if we can get up the inside of the Aston. Don't drift out too wide. Break in just where that kerb. I'll talk about it in a moment, but um, either the beginning or the end of the kerb there. Breaking at the beginning of the kerb, well, the, the bit of track that goes off to the right there. Sorry, mixing my words up while I'm really trying to concentrate now. This is the first placed driver in front. We are in second place. We are fine on fuel. Number two, bury it down. Third gear, over the yellow bit, over the yellow bit, over that yellow bit, that's better. Did we get a good exit? Can we catch the Lexus? Nice slipstream right now, gonna go high. Now he's gonna get the slipstream on me now. So we just need to be very aware of that. Can we break the slipstream? Possibly is off the radar. You need to be very careful about slowing it down into here. Trying to brake in a straight line as much as possible. Down into second for a little bit of rotation. Up through the gearbox, just trying to apex these corners. Looking for that little black mark in the floor there. It's a little bit too late. We need to brake a little bit before that black mark. Up through the gears now. Stay left, look for the apex. Just at the beginning of those curves, probably about halfway down that little slip road, I think is probably where we need to break. Probably similar with this one. Just on those black marks, down into second gear, a little bit of curb, let it run out to the outside. The power down as soon as we can. Point 0.9 of a second to the car behind. Fuel is fine. Number two, down at third. That's better, much better. So the number two braking board there, down at the third gear and try and use the yellow parts of that little double chicane. Full speed through here. To come up for the start finish straight. Over the start finish line. We've got 1.3 laps of fuel left, so we do one more. Just try and get it straight. Brake as hard as you can, down it in third, down it in second. On the pyre as quick as we can. Be aware of the tyres at this point of the race. Oh, still not quite got a braking reference for that particular corner. I was hoping to use the lamppost with this little sign on it, but that's uh, that's way too late. Okay, that black mark in the road where that little uh, bit of tarmac runs off to the left. That was where I broke that time. And then the little black lines that go off to the right on that one. So 
So this is lap five. We should be pitting on this lap. So watching for the number two on the right hand side. Breaking the straight line down into third. Yellow, yellow, feather in the throttle. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Oh, it wasn't quite yellow on the way out, but never mind. It was close. Just feathering the throttle midway through that little sequence of corners. Just to balance the car. So 0.4 of a lap left. So that was quite nice on the fuel. We'll just come in. We'll go for another set of mediums. And we're going to fuel this right the way up. We've got a few other cars in the pit stop. A few that have gone round. Hopefully they're going to be stopping as well. Not quite sure why the pit crew don't have my livery. That's a bit of a shame. Just got standard overalls. It'd be nice if they did have the uh, my own livery. Just watch the white line on the exit. Be careful of the right-hand turn as you come out. Cold tyres, etc. Quite dark here now at Daytona. Black mark. Down it second. I think that black mark actually is a little bit too early. I think we can break at the end of uh, that little bit of road that goes off to the left. Oh, I've gone a little bit deep into that one. So we've come out in ninth place, 25 seconds away from the leaders. It is quite some margin to make up we are on power setting three there's a chance that we might actually be able to knock that back down to two if we need it but at the moment i just want to see how we do with regards to where we are after the, all of the pit stops have uh, been completed so we've got first, second and third all in the pits at the moment. A few more pitting as well. As we come round to the pit straight, well, pit corner. Can we get out in front of those cars? There's quite a few in the pits. No, it looks like at least one of them has come out. So that puts a second. We need to catch the car in front. Three laps to do at the end of this one. And we've got 4.2 laps of fuel, so I think at this point, well not at this point, but in a moment when I can play around with the dials, we'll oh, a little bit deep again. I think we will take this down to power level two. We're in a bit of clean air, so I'm not worrying about the radar right now. Just got to bear in mind everything is going to be a little bit quicker now so might need to break a little bit earlier so just before the number two get in over that one just feathering the brake and the throttle through there didn't quite hit the yellow on the exit so we'll be coming round to start lap number eight giving us three laps to do with 3.4 laps of fuel possibly 3.3 as we cross the line slipstream in the lexus now gonna need to get this slowed down taking a slightly different line can we get underneath him 
Oh. Did we make that stick? Can we get it slowed down for this corner? No, we've gone too deep again onto the marbles. That's going to let him through. Actually, it didn't. I'm not quite sure where he is. I can't play around with the dials right now. I'd love to know where he is, but... Right there with us. No surprise there. Oh, gone a little bit deep there again. I can see his yellow lights against the wall, so I know he's right there. He's got slipstream. We're going to have to be very, very, very brave through here. Number two, down at the third. Ah, oh, too deep. Need to be breaking a little bit before the number two this time. Looking at the track map at the top, he's still there. A little bit of a... A little bit of a distance, not a lot though. 1.2 seconds. Get it stopped in a straight line. All the way down into second. Full beans through here. Again, I don't really have a breaking reference for that. Struggling with that corner big time. There's a little black mark in the road and I really need to be breaking slightly before that. That's really let, uh, let the car behind back onto my back bumper. I really want to start to brake a little bit more conservatively right now, but uh, the pressure is very much on. A little bit deep again in there. Really not quite got my brake reference points for this car. Uh, this is a little bit scrappy. So on power level 2, we're going to brake just before the 200. Down into third, over that one, over that one. Just braking a little bit mid-corner just to be able to get the turn in. Up through the gears. Tyres are looking okay. Fuel is looking there or thereabouts. What is it as we cross the line? 1.1. One lap of fuel to go. Oh, I could have really done with the, the number two driver coming into pit right now. Instead, we're going to have to keep this pointing in. The right direction I broke slightly earlier but still not early enough I'm gonna break midway down just there just where that black bit is down in the second get it turned in 3.3 seconds to the car behind Again, a little bit deep into there. Need to be braking at the beginning of that little uh, road that goes off to the right. I'm braking midway down it, it's too late. Need to be braking beforehand. So we got the double chicane for the last time. a bit better pressures off a little bit final lap point three point two point 
point one. This is going to be tight on fuel. We've actually run out of fuel as we cross the line. That's what you call fuel management. But that's first in the Ford GT. Quite a battle. Point four, sorry, 4.5 seconds ahead of Christiansen. 12 ahead of Escudero. And we did get the fastest lap, which was nice. I'm not sure that's going to be clean. We did make too many errors. Uh, gold trophy, 200,000 credits. It's all about the gold trophy. That's really what we're interested in on this one. Well, there you go. So that's a not exactly the cleanest of races from a driving perspective, but that will give you a car, a setup and a fuel strategy that will get you first place. I think if I was a little bit cleaner and I had adjusted my braking zones just a little bit more, then we could have made that a lot quicker and a lot easier on ourselves. That was on the normal settings, obviously on the hard. That is going to be quite an ask on that particular car and those settings. Uh, you definitely need to be driving a much cleaner race uh, but on normal that is a way of getting this one done so if you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up if you're new around here please consider hitting that subscribe button i'm trying to get myself up to a thousand subscribers before my birthday in july it'd be fantastic if you could help me if you are new around here and if you're a current subscriber thank you ever so much for continuing to support my channel it is greatly appreciated in the meantime i will leave this with you and we'll be heading off to the Americas for one final lap. I think it's the Michelin lap, which is a new track for me. So please hit the bell button for when I release that video. For now, thanks very much for watching. See you again very soon. Bye-bye.